Welcome to the People Verse Podcast. I'm Evan Troxell, and I recently had the pleasure of recording several conversations in the tech booth at the American Institute of Architects National Conference on Architecture in Chicago with individuals from all different parts of the building industry. It was fantastic to have the Expo Hall activity as the backdrop for this episode. And you'll see and hear the energy whether you're watching it on YouTube or listening to the audio version of the podcast. So without further ado, let's get into the episode. Here's Bob Habian, the president of Tech, and me to kick it off. There were two concepts that I spoke about with our next guest, and I'm not surprised that we spoke about concepts because she is a marketer. I mean, that's... Mm. Yeah, you, you need to find ways to reach your audience. And I think architects l- like to talk about concepts. We like to think abstractly about the problem. And and so the two things that, that I really noted coming out of this conversation with, with her was the first one was fire in a digital age. And the second one was fire as a tool. We were talking about, you know, design professionals and maybe old concepts of what fire and the hearth and the you know the center of the the project were about and and now thinking about it differently thinking about fire as a tool um, thinking about the ambiance the experience of people especially in in residential right um, but also multifamily all of these heavily you know everything that we do is heavily regulated code driven um, and there's been a lot of changes in this and I think what was really interesting about these two concepts, fire in a digital age and fire as a tool, is that it allows a design professional to shed their preconceived ideas about what fire can do in a project and and ask what's possible. And I, that to mm-hmm. me is the most enlightening thing about what I think people are going to get out of this really short, you know, it's probably 10 minutes of conversation with Gina, but she was very much saying, you know, things have massively changed. And she went on to mm-hmm. list what those things are. I think everybody should be interested to find out what those things are because that's what we're all about is getting below the surface and saying, you know, let these experts teach you what has changed so that your projects can be better when when the product fit is right. So I, I thought it would be interesting to pose that to you about those ideas of, you know, fire in a digital age. Everyone's looking at a screen. What is this ambiance? What is this experience? in an environment matter and, and using fire as a design tool, right? Much more than we ever could before because of a lot of technology that's gone into this product category. Right. Now, life is interesting. Great interview in Chicago, right? Mm-hmm. Then yesterday, literally, I get a call from a firefighter friend of mine who's currently remodeling his home. And for years, I help firefighters with design concepts and just nudge them along. And in this case, literally, he and his new wife, newly married, recently married, said that one of their challenges is what to do about their fireplace. Mm. Okay? And being a firefighter, he's obviously aware of some of the variables that matter Mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And his wife was very interested to explore options. And I said, you know what? Very timely that your question comes up. We met an expert in Chicago recently, and her ideas and insight about this new way to design with fire as an element, a design element, as well as a functional element, Mm -hmm. was um, really interesting to me, because she talks about things that I think most of us have not considered, things like exhausting the heat of the fireplace to the indoor or outdoor space, depending on the season. Mm -hmm. Not something I would have readily thought of before. Mm -hmm. And then as it relates to multifamily, a challenge for open flame fireplaces, of course, there's new solutions. Yeah. So the level of change on such an elemental element, right, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Because it's not just technology. We're talking about the element of fire. Right. So that's a really cool crossroad of natural element and technology enabled design options. And there's another keyword that she uses in this interview that I I just would have never associated with a fire 
or fireplace. I might have thought of other things in my home, and I think you'll key into what I'm talking about when you listen to the interview. Um, but there's a word that starts with A that's a little interesting um, as far as a new way to consider fire and things related. In this episode, I welcome Gina Almaguer, Director of Marketing and Architecture and Design for Ortal Fireplaces. Tell me about yourself. So my name is Gina Almaguer. I'm the Director of Marketing and Architecture and Design for Ortal Fireplaces. Okay. We're a manufacturer of direct vent gas fireplaces, also available in propane, but everything is fully enclosed. Uh, we're here exhibiting at the Architecture Conference uh, over at Booth 939. Okay. Uh, our products are manufactured in Israel, but I'm representing the North American Division, serving the U.S. and Canada. And what do you do there? So, I mean, this this sounds like you do a lot of things. I do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I came on board just to do marketing for the U.S., um, specifically to uh, architects and designers, builders, design builders, and homeowners. Okay. Um, since then, I've been now promoted to directing that, but specifically our architect and design program. Uh, so they're a very key audience for us. Design professionals are the future of the business. They're the ones deciding. Mm. Of course, the clients have ideas, right, but you make them come to life. Right. Uh, so we want to make sure we're catering to that audience in a way where we're providing white glove service. So uh, we understand that we're not the only appliance or anything that's being specified in the home. So yeah. we want to help be a resource, make it easy as possible. Um, and even if our products don't work, we want to be that fireplace partner for the design professionals, uh, make their lives easier, help them with the specifications and really drive that home. The fireplace industry is old, right? Fire's been around yeah. since humankind. Right. So right. the technology has evolved along with our relationship to fire. Um, fire. A fireplace in the home is not only an appliance, but it's now a center point. It's a decorative yeah. appliance, which is different than a lot of other things. So uh, we are here to also educate on what's changed and, and challenge the way uh, designers and architects are, are thinking or designing with a fireplace instead of around it. It's Sometimes it's kind of like, well, I got to put it here. Right. But now you can use that as a tool to complement your design. That's so interesting to think about it that way. I you know, you think about like the Frank Lloyd Wright model, right? The hearth is the heart of the home. Totally. And we, we all kind of went through architecture school, totally. kind of learning about that relationship mm -hmm. and how everything does revolve around it. I mean, I was at Falling Water a few months ago okay. for the first time ever. And it's like, it's an amazing center point, right? For totally. the whole family. And, and it is interesting to think about it now as like a, a tool, as a device to, to, to really complement lots of different types of things in the home rather than just be the one big giant thing in the middle because it isn't anymore. Like you're it's saying, it's, it's an appliance, right? So you can do interesting things with fire now, right? Totally. And and with Ortal's technology as well, we're, you're able to, even with the venting, you can do almost 500 feet of venting, wow. multiple 90 degree elbows, 45 degree. You don't have to just go directly up. So a lot of times people decide not to put a fireplace because they think, well, I just can't have a vent running right. through my multifamily yeah. fireplace or my multifamily unit. Right. So there's so much more you can do with the placement, uh, with the design, combustible materials, right to that very edge of the glass. TVs, artwork can come as low as four inches. So it really changes the way I think people have an old concept yeah. of what you can do. Wow. Um, so you can design it so it's still that familiar focal point center point for the family to me especially in a digital age it's nice to have something like that yeah. especially in a smart home right so Everything's much better digital. to have that than a tv on though exactly <laughs> i agree it's a lot warmer too yeah, yeah. <laughs> so okay you talked a lot you you said all the right words that i'm really honing in on earlier sure. right you, you want to be a resource you want to mm -hmm. be even if your product's not the right one for them correct uh you know for that project mm -hmm. i mean the whole idea of marketing is being there being known mm -hmm so that when the time is right, exactly. it just happens, right? Exactly, we wanna be their design, we wanna be a design partner for you, um, especially again, because it's, the industry's so outdated. There's, again, we know we can't work for every project. Clients want different things. There's different limitations based on what you're working with. And we know that we might not, might not be your only project too. So, and yeah. you know, I, I think that a lot of people approach this audience with two two sales forward, and mm -hmm. you have enough of that. So we we just want to be there to help you, and hopefully you get to use one of our products. Well, and as an architect, I don't buy the thing exactly, I, but I exactly. I curate, I specify, and and there's so much as an architect that I have to be conscious of that mm -hmm. there's no way I can go to the depth that you know about your 
product category. Totally. So I, I want to be able to rely on people like that. That's that's the whole point behind this show. That's the point behind what we're doing at Tech is to connect the right people at the right time. Exactly. On the designer's terms mm -hmm. because of that real sales forward approach exactly. you talked about turns a lot of people off. Absolutely. So this, this idea of connecting the right people at the right time, how do you go about connecting with the design professionals that are out there right now? So my main focus is brand awareness, right? We want to at least let you guys know that we're out there. This is what we offer. And typically, especially at this show, we're getting a lot. Well, I'm just doing multifamily buildings that you can't have a fireplace. Well, you can do this. So if that's something that you're interested, I'd love to tell you yeah. more. And a lot of the times the client wants a fireplace and they have to search for it and, you know, digital marketing comes in handy. They're right? the or ones who are driving. That's yeah. That's really interesting, right? It, exactly. It's happening a lot. Or, so we typically, we let, obviously want you guys to come to us first. Sure. We don't want to bombard you. Yeah. Um, but education is a great way forward. So lunch and learns, um, providing you the CEU opportunities as well and yeah. leaving our information. So if you can start to think, well, maybe a fireplace could actually apply here. Yeah. We can help make that vision come to life, help you with the drawings and, and, and play on your ideas. We want it to be a collaborative experience. So you tell us what you want to do. We can give you and make it happen or give you another solution or just challenge your idea of, of where a fireplace can be and how it can look in a home or a commercial space. There are so many preconceived ideas around so many products totally. and categories. And if you, if we know anything, it's that things change mm -hmm. constantly and faster than ever. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it seems like there's probably so much to learn to overcome those preconceived ideas. How do you guys typically open the door? Is it, is it a, you ask open-ended questions and you're looking for things that you can help educate on or, or how does that conversation kind of start? So typically when we start with, we try to understand what makes you not want to specify your fireplace or why, what challenges have you had with a fireplace before? And what solutions do we have now that maybe you weren't aware of that it's well that's no you don't have to worry about that issue anymore or yes we yeah. understand that and here's a different type of solution or here's a different way of thinking about it again with a lunch and learn presentation we do kind of go through the history of the fireplace so a lot of times people still think oh it's you know it's an Oh, fully open. I can touch it. I can't have that in commercial space. Well, there's actually a lot of codes now where everything has to be fully enclosed. Right. Um, I get a lot of questions. Well, isn't the glass hot? And there's the standards for it to be uh, below certain temperatures. And um, there's so many different technologies to achieve each of those things as well. So typically we like to find out what your challenge is and then and challenge the challenge, if you will, and yeah. give you the solution for that. So much good stuff in there. I, I'm wondering about regionality, mm -hmm. right? I mean, Fire is, I'm sure, from your point of view, more regional than a lot of people think of. Some people want it for aesthetics, but most people want it for heat source yes. when it comes to regionality. So give me an idea of your footprint. What, do you, what regions do you guys cover? Because this is something that's totally invisible to architects, right? Mm -hmm. There might be some companies that work in certain regions. There might be overlap. There might be what regions they don't touch at all. How does that work with, with what you're doing? So actually, we're we're across all of the U.S. and Canada. Because you're shippable. You're very shippable. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes so we are very shippable. Okay. Um, we there are. I find that the regional differences with the fireplace is more on the style. So, uh, as far as whether or not they want something purely decorative or they want it to be a heat output, we have options to do both. You okay. can. There's a something called a heat control system. So I'm in Southern California. Um, I don't need a fireplace all year round. Right. So maybe once a year when it rains, right? right. So right. there's options now where you can actually redirect the heat outside. And when it does get cold, turn that off. And now the fireplace works. So it's decorative mm -hmm. when you want it and mm -hmm. functional when you want it. Um, you can redirect it to other rooms. Uh, there's different deep in BTU level and heat outputs that you can use. Different types of fireplaces or heat barriers on the front that give you different type of heat, radiance, or from the ceiling as well. Um, so as far as functionality, that's not what's so regional for us. We can really be anywhere. It's nice. more of the style. I find that, uh, you know, Canada and Eastern, they, they're still really have this idea of a wood burning fireplace so we've created technologies where it can be a gas log where the flame actually comes through it instead of underneath which you normally seen so you can have that familiarity that warmth of a wood burning fire and even back to the beginning of humanity rubbing right. two sticks together having that it's in our dna totally i think totally is part of the evolution totally i, I get it but now you can have that in an evolved technologies like a contemporary fireplace that could look you know multiple different ways and and and, and not just the way safe. that 
Exactly. Yeah. And it can be, and because of that, you can have it in places where you've never thought before. Hospital lobbies, mm -hmm. every unit of a multifamily building, uh, commercial spaces, freestanding or built into the wall. There's just a lot you can do with it now. Well, all of that information, again, is like something that I'm hearing for the first time, mm -hmm. being made aware for the first time. It's got to be hard to kind of land that message totally. at, in mass the other 363 days a year that we don't have this <laughs> trade show, right? Totally. So it's great to be here in person and have this ability to do this. How, how do you approach the rest of the year? So again, I would just be like an online space, making sure we're in architectural publications. We are at Ortal, we have a strong dealer network. So we have local resources in different communities that have showrooms, okay. um, magazines, and, and really reaching the consumer, right? Making we're marketing to the consumer, showing them what's possible so they can bring those ideas to you. Um, I know they often rely on architects and designs to kind of help their visions come to life, but there's certain things that they want. Uh, so if we educate the consumer, the designer and architect through mass communications, again, like publicating yeah. in magazine or online, right. um, that's how you reach it. And then we can kind of plant the seed. And, and it's easy when we're working with such talented and creative people because you want to know more about that. They're hungry for information and to always have evolving ideas. And we fireplaces have evolved technology. So um, it's it's I think by challenging that oh it is different yeah. it, it's all the curiosity is enough to bring them to want to know more it's like a good a good anything like we're interested when we're kind of surprised by something exactly that that is what it, it captures mm -hmm. the mind of a creative person totally yeah fantastic yeah thanks for taking the time of course it's yeah. my pleasure thank you for having us right. we're loving what you're doing thanks hey before you go can you do one thing for me hit the like button it really does help us in the youtube universe Watching all the way to the end is probably even more helpful, so thank you for that too. It all adds up and helps more people find the show. These are great ways for you to help spread the word and contribute to the Peopleverse. If you want to help the channel even more, please subscribe and use that red button right down there and turn on the notification bell so that you'll know exactly when the next episode comes out. It's completely free to do so. And finally, do you have something to add to this conversation? If you do, leave a comment. I read all of them. I can't wait to share the next conversation with you. So until then, see you soon.